Saint Faustina Kowalska is one of the great mystic saints of the Church. Her encounters with Jesus has made a significant impact on the devotion of the faithful to the unfathomable mercy of God and to His call for us to turn back towards Him. Saint Faustina wrote down many of the visions and encounters with God in her diary. Her diary gives us great insight into the work of God and how each one of us can learn to become holier in the everyday moments of our lives. Today we look at St. Faustina's vision of hell. Around the 20th of October 1936, St. Faustina was given the chance to see hell and tell us its seven tortures. In paragraph 741, we read the following. Today I was led by an angel to the chasm of hell. It is a place of great torture. How awesomely large and extensive it is, the kinds of tortures I saw. The first torture that constitutes hell is the loss of God. The second is perpetual remorse of conscience. The third is that one's condition will never change. The fourth is the fire that will penetrate the soul without destroying it. A terrible suffering, since it is purely spiritual fire, lit by God's anger. The fifth torture is the continual darkness and a terrible suffocating smell. And despite the darkness, the devils and the souls of the damned see each other and all the evil, both of others and their own. The sixth torture is the constant company of Satan. The seventh torture is horrible despair, hatred of God, vile words, curses and blasphemies. These are the tortures suffered by all the damned together. But that is not the end of the sufferings. There are special tortures destined for particular souls. These are the torments of the senses. Each soul undergoes terrible and indescribable sufferings related to the manner in which it has sinned. There are caverns and pits of torture where one form of agony differs from another. I would have died at the very sight of these tortures if the omnipotence of God had not supported me. Let the sinner know that he will be tortured throughout all eternity in those senses which he made use of to sin. I am writing this at the command of God so that no soul may find an excuse by saying there is no hell or that nobody has ever been there and so no one can say what it is like. I, Sister Faustina, by the order of God, have visited the abysses of hell so that I might tell souls about it and testify to its existence. I cannot speak about it now, but I have received a command from God to leave it in writing. The devils were full of hatred for me, but they had to obey me at the command of God. What I have written is but a pale shadow of the things I saw. But I notice one thing, that most of the souls there are those who disbelieve that there is a hell. When I came to, I could hardly recover from the fright. How terribly souls suffer there. Consequently, I pray even more fervently for the conversion of sinners. I incessantly plead God's mercy upon them. O oh my Jesus, I would rather be in agony until the end of the world amidst the greatest sufferings than offend you by the least sin.